adjustments that you guys made is as an offense to kind of break things open in the second half? Yeah, I think we, we found some things that really worked well for us. Um, and then we, we had known a lot of the week that we were going to run. Um, but once we found them, you know, started to calm a little bit more and uh, make, you know, like you said, some adjustments off those plays and open up different stuff. So Another week, and, and you know, there was, at least on the outside, there was uncertainty about who was going to play the position. How did it go for you? And, and you know, when did you feel comfortable like you were the guy that was taking the snaps today? Yeah, I mean, it was a little bit of a deja vu from last week. Um, you know, I came in Sunday night. Um, you know, Jeff Jeff took um, a couple more snaps um, than he did last week, but um, you know, still took all the snaps that um, that I was given and acted like I was the starter and prepared like I was. So, um, you know, I think that's that's key. You know, with this situation, um, you know, everyone trying to uplift each other. Um, Every chance you get, you got to make the most of it. Coach said he's comfortable going all the way to the end if he has to to, to, to determine who's going to start, even a quarterback. Um, how, are you are you comfortable with that? And and when did you find out officially this week? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of like last week. I don't know if there's ever, you know, Coach Rule never sat me down in his office and was like, "You're going to start this week," um, because I think he expects us. When he, when you're given those first team reps or even those second team reps, like he expects you to prepare like you are going to be the starter. So I mean, um, you know, him sitting us down and telling us, "Hey, you're going to start this week." I mean, that that kind of defeats the purpose because then, well, one week, if he doesn't sit you down, are you going to practice the same? Um, so I think that's that's. Um, I don't know if that's his philosophy or not, but um, you know, that's something I've kind of taken and run with it. It, I mean, being a college quarterback, I'm sure, is a learning curve, right? You've done this for two weeks. How are you on that learning curve? And how are you on the learning curve of just running the option, knowing, like, all the iterations that you can do on a given play? Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of the option. That's why, you know, a lot of the 90s, 80s, 90s teams and with Coach Osborne, that's I, mean, I think that's why they're so successful is, you know, as a quarterback, if you know the weapons that you have and you can distribute the ball, then you're going to be successful. Um, you know, it may not, you know, a lot of those guys, you know, I was, I saw something last week that was interesting. Um, you know, someone was comparing, I don't know, um, carries and, you know, Coach Frost and Tommy Frazier and all those guys didn't have as many carries as I did in a week, but they were also pitching the ball a lot more. Um, and they were just distributing the ball, just being a point guard. Um, and so I think once you get really fluent, kind of knowing who the pitch key is and being comfortable with the backs, I mean, that offense becomes deadly. and. Um, obviously, we can combine that with a different element of, you know, what Coach Sat brings from all of his years um, and all the other coaches as well. Who are you kind of like learning from on how to know when to pitch it, and when to keep it? Obviously, today they were letting you keep it, but how do you? Who are you kind of learning from? Uh, I think that's a accumulation of the last two years. Um, you know, we ran that a lot my first year, but then also. I mean, these, these coaches have sat down. They've really studied this option um, side of the playbook, and um, they've watched a lot of film. And obviously, um, Coach Ron Brown, um, he's been here since the 80s. Um, you know, he's seen a lot of option quarterbacks. Um, so he knows. He gives us some insight into that, too. Um, you know, attacking angles, knowing when to pitch and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I, I really um, – these, these new – Offensive coaches that you know some of them have never run the option like this in their life. I mean, they've really they've sat down, they've put a lot of time into it. What's your thoughts about where the the passing game is at right now? I think it's I think it's good, but it needs to be, keep developing. Um, you know, last week was a lot more um, you know just getting completions. Um, this week we came out um, wanted to you know kind of stretch the field a little bit more. Um, you know, we were close on a couple of them, um, and then we connected on a couple as well. Um, but you know, some of that's on me. I got to see um, just little details better. Um, you know, whether that's watching film more or um, you know, maybe understanding better where to go with the ball and check it down sometimes. Um, but um, you know, I think the O line, the O line's doing a great job of giving me time. Anthony Reed rushed for 135 today. What do you think of the way that he ran the ball, but also the way he approached the week given the news with Ramirez and Gabe? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's that's the thing is. I didn't see AG change at all because AG has always been ready to go. Um, I mean, we saw last year how dominant of a running back he could be. Um, 
and you know, at the start of this year, you know, things didn't fall his way. You know, so what? I don't, I don't think he ever changed in his mindset that, oh, I'm, you know, I'm second, third string now. I'm just not going to try. Like AG's the guy that comes to work every day. Um, he doesn't waver. Um, and so I think that's, you know, that just is another guy that's a result of stacking days. The option, uh, the option run game is an offense all to itself. And, you know, you're kind of learning it on the fly here this season, early in the season. What's it like to do that and balance that and, tr and try to also continue to learn what Coach Sad has as far as the principles of the passing game? Yeah, I mean, it's like you said, it's a balance. Um, you know, we don't we don't sit down and we we don't watch the '90s film all the time about the option. Um, you know, we we still we install new stuff, new pass plays that um, you know uh, that go on up in the up in the coach's office. I mean, they they pump out new plays all the time that you know sometimes they they don't get them they don't get to show them on game day. But um, this offense is I think it's always evolving. I think that's going to be something dangerous for us in the future. How do you last think you played today? Yeah. How do you think you played today? Like, do you feel better about today than last week? Or yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, there's always the stuff to improve on. Um, but you know, I really hope. Um, you know, I, for me, I, uh, you know, I want to be confident in myself, but I also want my teammates to be confident in me. Um, and so I hope they look at me and they see someone who went out there and battled, um, battled to the end. Um, you know, I, I want those guys to, you know, look at me as I'm going to have their backs all the way. So that's that's really all I want to do. Last week you showed off your physicality. Today with the two long runs, even with one of them called back, you got to show off a little bit of your speed. How would you feel about how that kind of felt today, being able to outrun the DBs? Yeah, it was <clears> – <throat> I, I was just talking to my mom, um, and she knew right away after the uh, one that got called back, she was a little worried because she knew in high school I only ran the 100 and the 200. So I ran about 100 yards down that way, 100 yards back, and she knew that's about my limit. Um, you know, obviously I want to keep pushing that, um, being able to stay stay controlled with my breathing, um, being able to operate the offense even when I'm tired um, and can't breathe. But, um, you know, I think – I think. Um, I was really grateful just for the O line and for the receivers blocking downfield. You know, those guys are, that's the reason that I got to show off my speed there.